In today's video I'm gonna be showing you how you can improve your edits with a few tweaks. It literally doesn't take a lot of work to take your videos from boring to really appealing. So hopefully after you watch the tutorial your edits will perform better. That being said let's get straight into Adobe After Effects. Alright guys we're back in the software here we got an old video of mine so I'm gonna be working with that. We're not gonna be matching what I'm saying here, we're rather gonna come up with something new. So as you may know, the text is probably one of the most important things when it comes to visually grabbing attention. So if your text is off, you might potentially lose views, so we don't really want that. So for starters, I'm just gonna grab the type tool and let's type in I gained, actually I gained 50k. I'm gonna recenter this thing and for this I'm gonna use Montserrat Black. And something that I absolutely love doing is mixing the fonts and I feel like it works wonders. So I'm just gonna take that text, hit Control D, drop it lower. And here I'm gonna type in followers. So as for this one, I'm just gonna go for something different, maybe semi-bold, and then I'm gonna bump up the font size. Already starts to look really interesting in my opinion. I'm gonna probably have the text just a bit higher. It's quite important to have the text next to the chin, so it's easier to focus on both. And then something that will make a whole lot of difference is basically adding a mask to the bottom text or to the upper text, it's up to you. But for this, I'm gonna pick the followers and I'm just gonna take the rectangle tool. So here, I'm gonna probably just cut out the part that is right next to the upper text. So now I'm gonna invert it and then I'm gonna hit F on the keyboard in order to reveal mask feather and I'm gonna bump it up. Okay, already looks really, really nice. It's kind of giving you a little bit of depth to this, which is making the whole image look so much better. But if we left it at that, it would be really boring, so we don't really want that. We need some animation for this. So something that has gained a lot of popularity in the recent months are those Apple text animations. So let me just show you how to create one. We're gonna start off with that text, and actually we can put it above followers. Since followers should be kind of behind it, then we're just gonna have it in the right order that way. So here, what I'm gonna do is open up properties, then I'm gonna head over to the animate, and I'm gonna pick position. Here, you want to change Y position to let's say 50. You could notice that the text dropped lower and then what I'm gonna do is make sure to go to add property and we're gonna pick opacity. So now it's gonna disappear when we change it to 0% over here and we also need to animate it but before that we need to open up range selector 1 then we're gonna head over to advanced and here in shape we're gonna change square to ramp up. So now what you want to do is bump up is low to 100% and you could leave it at that but you could also change its high, sometimes I do that. It's just gonna make the text a bit more snappy when it comes to that animation, so I think I'm gonna set it to minus 20%. Then, in order to animate, you need to head over to the offset in range selector 1, and I'm gonna set it to minus 100%. Then I'm gonna keyframe, move forward, and I'm gonna set it to 100%. Right, we can actually solo out that layer, and let me just show you how it looks. Pretty cool, but it's extremely slow, so we need to speed it up better, maybe even more. And you don't really need to add any graphs here, it just looks smooth. All right, so since we got this, it's already looking a bit more interesting, but what I'm gonna do is copy that animation and paste it to followers. So we don't really need to do it all over again. So I'm gonna open it up, go to text, click on animator one, copy by hitting control C, and then I'm just gonna click on that layer, go to the beginning, and I'm gonna paste it by hitting Control V. And what I'm gonna do next is close it down and open up followers. Now let's open up text, animator one, range selector one, advanced. And here what I'm gonna do to make it more interesting is just turning on randomize order. So I'm just gonna click here and the letters for that text are gonna randomly pop up, which is a bit more interesting, I like it. Also, I would like to have followers a bit later. So I'm gonna offset these keyframes and it's a bit better in my opinion now. All right, we already got pretty interesting text. Obviously you need to match what is said in the video. So make sure to time it properly. The next thing I wanna do to make it more interesting is just throw in an asset. So for this, I'm gonna make sure to go to the rounded rectangle tool. I'm gonna create a shape like that. All right, let's recenter. I have it really rounded up, so I'm gonna change roundness. Okay, pretty much perfect. I'm gonna turn off stroke. And here I have it set to radial gradient, so we can stay with that. I'm just gonna open it up. Let's pick something bluish maybe. So as for this color, I'm gonna pick something bright. And then here, we're also gonna have a bright version, but more intense blue. Let's hit okay. And now I'm just gonna play around with this. Okay, we can rename it to check. And what I'm gonna do next is make sure this layer is selected. I'm gonna hit G or you can just press on the pen tool over here. And I'm gonna create one point over here, another one here. And the last one is gonna be over there. Okay, now let's click on the shape. I'm gonna turn off fill and I'm gonna turn on stroke. Here I'm gonna bump up the stroke width to say maybe 17. 
I'm gonna make sure to round line cap and also line join. And it starts to look pretty cool. Let's make sure it's right in the middle. Okay, as I'm looking at this, I feel like we could bump up the stroke with maybe 19. Yeah, a bit better. One more adjustment and we should be good. So basically throwing an object like that is actually making the whole video look better, but obviously you need to match the asset with what is set. So I feel like the check over here is actually matching the vibe since I'm saying I gained 50K followers. And yeah, we're gonna use that, but first of all, we need to animate it. So for starters, I feel like I'm gonna scale it down and we're just gonna probably have the final position somewhere here. So as you can notice, we got a nice separation over here between the two texts. And when it comes to the check, we don't really have anything. So what I'm gonna do with this is just a drop shadow effect. And then I'm gonna make sure that the distance is set to zero and then softness to 100. But I'm just gonna intensify it by changing the opacity and also we might probably duplicate it. Okay, looks so much better now. Without and with. Right, as for this, I feel like we could animate position and rotation. So I'm just gonna hit Alt Shift P and then I'm gonna hit Alt Shift R and I'm gonna hit U and U again. Okay, so this is gonna be our final position and we're gonna probably bring it from the right and let's see what we can do with rotation. Okay, this might be actually a pretty good movement. I'm gonna hit F9 for these keyframes, then go to the Grav Editor. Let me just play around with this a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna speed it up. I like it, but also we need to add opacity keyframes. So I'm gonna hit Alt Shift T, and then also I'm gonna change it to 0%. Then let's work on the timing. We're gonna probably take these keyframes and drag them backwards too early, better, but this should be perfect, yeah. So we mix the fonts, we added some separation with mask feather, also we added text animations and also we got an object. So now something that will make a lot of difference is adding a movement for the whole thing, which is kind of a camera movement. So for this I'm just gonna right click, go to new, adjustment layer, I'm gonna rename it to transform and I'm gonna add the same effect. So here what we want to do is basically create a keyframe for scale, then go back and I'm going to bump it up. Now we can hit U, I'm going to select both and I'm going to do the same thing as before, which is hitting F9 and going to the Grav Editor. And let's just make it nice and smooth. Okay, really nice, but I don't really like that it's so punchy in the beginning. So I'm going to probably smooth it out. We might also scale it up even more. And as for the final position, I'm gonna probably be closer. And I actually zoomed in purposely because I wanna add camera shake to this. So what I'm gonna do is head over to the position and I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch. Here, I'm gonna type in wiggle and in brackets, I'm gonna type in 0.7,8. Let's click away. And this is gonna give us a very nice subtle camera shake, as you can notice here. All right, as for the final touch, I feel like we could do one thing, which is basically a light sweep effect. So I'm gonna use it for check. So light sweep or glow effect are just making things stand out more, which is a perfect way to grab more attention. So I'm gonna add the light sweep and what I'm gonna do is make sure it's above the drop shadow. So if I start playing around with the center, you're gonna notice it. So we're just gonna start from the left somewhere here. Then I'm gonna keyframe, move forward and I'm gonna change it to even more positive number in X position. So let's see now. All right, so that light sweep effect is a bit too late. So for this, I'm gonna make sure that it's earlier and also I'm gonna extend it for a smoother movement. You can always play around with the values so you can bump up, let's say, sweep intensity. And as for the final thing, we're gonna turn on the motion blur. So I'm gonna turn it on here and also I'm gonna make sure to go to the transform and I'm gonna uncheck use composition shutter and I'm gonna change shutter angle to 200. All right, so that way we got a pretty cool animation that is making the whole video more appealing. That being said, we're gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Literally a few tweaks and this whole video is looking so much better. Without further ado, you can check out the video on the screen over here and I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys.